Build day, baby. I'm so happy for today, man. I've been waiting all winter season. I've been waiting all week, especially. I've been gathering all the parts, all the tools, everything I need possible to get this bike up together and running, and that's today. It's about 10 a.m. right now on a Saturday, and uh, we got time, baby. But I've been picking up all this stuff throughout the week to get this started, so let me just show you where we're at and what I got and what's going on real quick. Tools. I went ahead and got this Bauer 1,050 foot-pound of torque corded impact drill to get on that transmission today. We got the socket pieces. We got extensions for the 12 millimeter bolt. We got a half inch ratchet. We got more stuff even over there that I had to buy throughout the week. But um, we just got everything we needed. We got the fluids. We got the gear oil. The freaking engine oil we got the gas everything is set up and ready to go all right so let's start it off with the parts that i needed because when i wrecked this bike there was definitely some replacement parts going on that needed to happen the very first and foremost thing the most important thing which i already installed this week while i had time before work is that new triple tree down there i was worried that the triple tree didn't fit at first but it definitely does and it went together fairly easily and I just need to tighten up those 12 millimeter bolts right there to start on this front end. But anyways, the other parts I needed to get this bike fresh to get it crisp. And I'm not changing the tune right now. I'm keeping everything that is in that bike how it was, but just fresh parts. So I went ahead and I got a fresh contra spring, 1500 pound. We got some clutch springs in there for free that came with it. And I don't have those in that bike right now. So I will be throwing these things in there afterwards when i get this thing together and running and looking good and feeling good but um we got a fresh cone air intake filter we got a fresh plug we got fresh five gram rollers we got brake shoe and pads in the back but um there's also another issue that i wanted to solve and that is this with a sealed valve cover because i removed all that air emission stuff it's kind of dark right now but you can see it you know what i'm talking about and uh, there's always just been a hole there and I never sealed it with that plate. So I went ahead and I picked up a sealed valve cover for this little 50cc engine. <clears throat> 80cc really, but you know what I'm saying. So we definitely got the parts. So the checklist of stuff that needs to be done, I'm going to simplify it in these terms right here. So first things first, I want to get this thing some power. So we're going to hook the power up. The second thing is building this whole front end, which is putting... The rest of the stuff, tightening up everything and putting the plastics on. Then we're going to move on to the rear end back here, which is going to be the transmission and the brakes and all that fun stuff. Then we're going to hook everything up, you know, all the fuel lines, the throttle cable, the brake cable, all that good stuff. Then we're going to put fluids in it. And then hopefully, baby, we're going to start this thing. So five different things. But the hardest part first is to get this front end here together because these plastics fucking suck. Especially this piece right here. This is the worst. And I tried to get this done before today, but I got most of it done. So that counts, right? But uh, yeah, without talking, let's get into it. We got power. This comes on. But this turn signal, that turn signal, this turn signal. Brake light. Check. but here's the problem <laughs> so no right turn signal up front but the back one turns on and i already checked the wire right here that's plugged in there and um everything's plugged in so it must have blew or something like that or maybe the fuse but that kind of sucks but whatever fuck it let's go on all right now for the part that i've been dreading this front end let's get this knocked out the way so we can get to the good stuff here we go front end is all together and finally on that took me about an hour's of time not too bad this actually wasn't horrible what i learned here is um there are two screws not here i'm trying to remember where they're at they're inside but there are two screws inside of this little bucket and if you peel this open first and then connect these together it just slides into place so front fascia is on all the front end is all hooked up all the wires are tucked in out the way so they're not rubbing on anything when you scoot the tire around we still got the headlight still bright <laughs> power is good bing horn works 
we're good to go. Next step, rear end, baby. Now the transmission looks pretty good, but today I just want to swap in those fresh rollers, another contra spring, and we got to pull everything out so I can tighten up those bolts for the gearbox back there. Just look at everything and make sure everything is good. I'm going to clean this out a little bit because there's some gunk in there, but um, this is where I get to use this tool finally. I'm pumped about this. This thing should rip. Super excited to have my own impact finally. It is going to save me so much time. So let's get straight to it. Look at that. Damn, that's sweet. Hell yeah, brother. Huh. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so, do I have to have the rear wheel on in order to do this? Yep. Damn it. All right, pause. We're gonna hook up the rear wheel and brakes first because apparently you can't take off the clutch without the wheel being locked up like that. You learn something new every day. This did the trick. All I did was take this Allen wrench and I stuck it through the hoop and I pulled it out not to bend that uh, hook that goes into the brake. And uh, yeah, look at that. Good to go. Sweet. Just like that. Sweet. All right, let's try this again. Brakes locked. Yep, that did it. Now I already knew I had to do this because I did not know what socket size this is, but um, I'm gonna take this to the auto store down the street real quick and see what size socket piece I need so I can get this off and get that fresh concha spring in there. But everything looks good. But obviously this thing is uh, a little dilapidated. I can see pieces coming off of it in there. The, uh, the clutch pads look good though. There's no issue there. There's no warping. There's no bending, no cracking. This thing looks pretty solid, but definitely need a fresh contra spring. But this baby is still looking fresh, looking good. And I am glad that I decided to get some new rollers because these are the stock ones that I had in this bike the whole time. And I'm sure if I weighed these things out, they would probably be like 4.5 by now. You can see some flat spots on them so they wouldn't roll up smoothly. They're old, so we're going to swap these in here. We're going to go get the right socket piece for this, and we're going to get that in there. Let's do it. I'm back with the right size socket. We're going to get this nut off. For me, this is the easiest way I found to get this off is to stand on top of it like this because that contra spring is going to spring up as soon as you get that nut off. So if you put your body weight onto it like this and then you get it off there, you can slowly step off of it and remove that. I'll show you how right now. fucking hurt i didn't keep my body weight on it and it popped up and just smacked me in the thumb damn yeah it's numb still right now it's gonna be purple oh well there it is fresh spring is in there let's just tighten this nut back down just like that sweet all right, everything is in the transmission. The rollers are in there. The fresh contra spring is in there. So let's just get her back on real quick. All right. Sweet. Transmission case is on. Now it's time for the fuel, baby. But before I start hooking everything up, one, I got to, you know, Put on that new valve cover, which is going to be cool. But I want to get the fluids in here. I want to get the gear oil in there. I want to get the engine oil in there. So when I start turning everything around, it's not just metal and metal contact with very little oil. So let's do that real quick. Oil is full. Gear oil is in. Let's move on to the valve cover real quick. looks a lot more clean it's gonna get rid of that hole that I got in here hell yeah 
Here we go. Now we're gonna hook everything up. The fuel line, the throttle cable, put a spark plug in there. A couple other things. I plugged in the automatic choke right there. Just gonna get everything in the right spot so it can get gas and get going. Got everything attached. We got the throttle cable on. We got every single wire, every single hose. I double, triple checked. This is ready to go. So, muffler on. Gas from the gas station. There's a gas can. Let's do this. There she is, boys. Muffler is on. Everything is wired up. Everything is hooked up. All the fuel lines, the whole front end, the whole rear end, the transmission, the wheel, the brakes. It is all on there, ready to go. So you know what that means, man. I am so excited to get this gas in here. I really can't believe that it's happening right now. After I wrecked it, after it's been stolen, after it sat for months, I really didn't know what to do, what to do with it, man. So uh, here we go. I'm going to the store to get gas right now. Say no more. All right. I don't even want to speak really anymore. I'm way more excited, nervous, happy, fulfilled. No more talking. There's gas in the tank. Everything is wired up. Everything is hooked up. I know I have to build gas pressure. It's not going to start immediately, but let's, let's do this thing, man. First turnover. gonna be a process. I hope this isn't a process, man. Yes! Baby's back, boy! Jeez, man. All right, I'm just going to let her warm up and run around for a few minutes, maybe 10 or so. Just let everything get back up. She's still burning off that extra smoke from the stuff left over. Look at that. The auto choke works. Hell yeah. So she rips. She's back in action. She rides good. She's a little sketchy right now. There's definitely some uh, screws to screw and hoses to hook up again because it's a little rattly, but she's back. It's beautiful outside. I'm enjoying a nice little meal right here. Damn, it feels good to be back, man. So thank you guys again for watching. There's more modifications to come. There's more stuff happening. I'm definitely not quitting now. Never did, never will. All right, until next time, guys.